the most rare cards in the Dragon Ball Super card game. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here with another rarity explained. So today, I gotta give a shout out to my boy Barry Allen. Barry, if you're watching this, thanks for the excellent ideas, man. I gotta give my hats, my hat is off to you, my friend. But today we are going over the most rare cards in the Dragon Ball Super card game. Now, if you're a collector and you're looking to pick up rare cards, these are the cards that are gonna be worth money. And I'm gonna explain everything about each and every single one of these cards in this video. But before we get started, you wanna hear more of this stuff, make sure to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you even hit that little ding dong bell, you get notifications when I make any videos. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, Thank you for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. And let's explain the most rare cards in the Dragon Ball Super card game. Set one was the first set and it introduced special rares. This was the highest rarity in set one. And there were four special rares in set one. There were 12 boxes in a case and there was a one in three chance of getting a special rare in one of those boxes of Galactic Battle. Set two had a one in 12 chance of getting a secret rare and a one in three chance of getting a special rare per box. Set three followed in suit. There were four special rares and there were one secret rare. Now in a case, if you were to open a case, you'd have a one in three chance of getting a special rare and a one in 12 chance of getting a secret rare. Set four also had four special rares and we saw four special rares per case but we also saw two secret rares this is the first set to have two secret rares now one case would only contain one out of two of those secret rares but you have the same drop rates as set two and set three that preceded it for getting those cards set five guaranteed one special rare per box this was the first set to guarantee a special rare in each box there was one secret rare in the set which means that there was one secret rare per case and it meant you were getting the same secret rare but each box had a special rare so by getting a case you're guaranteeing yourself a lot more special rares and they were usually mostly different from a case now set six followed set five where you would have one special rare in every box and you had two secret rares in the set but only one of those secret rares would come in a case. So you didn't guarantee getting both secret rares by getting a case. Set seven also had special rares in every box. There were two secret rares in this set. So you had a one in 12 chance of getting a secret rare in your case, but there were also signature rares. This was the first block set to introduce signature rares. So every case had two signature rares in it, which meant in a case you had a one in six chance of getting a, spe a signature rare. And by getting that case, you did not guarantee that you would get all signature rares because you'd only get two out of the four. Set eight had a special rare in every box. There were three secret rares in set eight, but this was the first set that had three secret rares. And it was also the first set where you had, you would get two secret rares per case now one special rare was in each box but you were guaranteed at least two secret rares in a case so out of a box from a case you would have a one in six chance of getting a secret rare and in every box you would get a special rare set nine had special rares in every box and it also had three secret rares as well so you were guaranteed two secret rares and there was one secret rare that you wouldn't get per case so same odds one in six per box per case for a secret rare and every box had special rares set 10 set 10 was the first set to introduce two special rares per box so every box in set 10 had two special rares and every case had two secret rares because there were three secret rares in this set god ceiling technique is definitely the best looking special rare from the set i gotta say it freeze also looks really good set 11 same thing, two special rares per box and three secret rares in the set. So two secret rares per case and two special rares in every box. And set 12, we see two special rares per box and we see two secret rares per case. Definitely the most sought after secret rare from this set was the Kai. Now let's get into the secret rares in order. 
Ultimate Force SSB Vegeta was the first secret rare seen in the Dragon Ball Super card game, and this was from set two. There was one secret rare per case for this card. Hyper Rush Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku was the second secret rare in the game, and this had the same odds as the last set. There was one secret rare per case, so 1 in 12 odds of getting a secret rare. Distant Descendant Son Goku Jr. is from set 4. Set 4 had two secret rares, Distant Descendant Son Goku and Beyond Darkness Demigra. Now, one of these secret rares would be in each case, so you had a chance at getting either one of these cards in the case that you opened. Beyond Darkness Demigra was the first secret rare I ever pulled in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Set 5 had Miraculous Fighter SS3 Gogeta. This was the only secret rare in the set, and there was one per case. Set 6 had Broly, the Ultimate Agent of Destruction, and Arcane Absorption Majin Buu. This was the second set to have two secret rares following set 4, and you only had one secret rare per case, so each of these, car each of these cards were 1 in 12 per case. Of these two cards, Broly is the more sought after card. Set 7 had two secret rares. The Power of Potato, Vegito Kefalon Zamasu, and SS3 Scramble, Raditz, Vegeta, and Broly. These set, this set had one secret rare per case, and you would either get the blue yellow or the red green. First multicolor secret rares in the Dragon Ball Super card game. Set 7 also had four signature rares. Dependable Brother Son Gohan, SS2 Trunks, Memories of the Past, Hit Pride of Universe 6, and Meteoric Energy SSB Vegito. Now two, secret, two signature rares would come per case. So in each case, you had a one in six chance of getting a signature rare, but you had no way to guarantee that you would get all four by buying sealed product. It was random which two you would get and likely to get dupes. So those are the first signature rares in a main block set and the only thus far. Set eight, we had three signature rares. Baby Janemba, uh, Corrupt Coalescence, SS4 Vegeta, Peak of Primitive Power, and Dragon Ball's Negative Energy Overflow. So in each case, you had two secret rares, which means you had a one in six chance of pulling a secret rare per box, and the third secret rare would not be in the case. You would have to get another case at a chance of getting that secret rare. Set nine, three secret rares again. We had Black Smoke Dragon, Eternal Evil, Sun Goku and Vegeta, Apex of Power, and Cell Zeno, Unspeakable Abomination. Now this secret rare has definitely been referred to as the most free and cheapest and best secret rare in the game. Uh, it definitely is a game ender if it is played right. This is arguably the most valuable main block set secret rare because of course it's Goku and it has Victory Strike. So these were the two most sought after secret rares from the set. Black Smoke Dragon was a great secret rare as well. Set 10 had three secret rares, SS3 Gotenks, Blazing Fusion, SS4 Gogeta, Peerless Fusion, and Great 8 Mass Sand Primal Carnage. Now, there were two secret rares per case. There were three in the set, so you had a one in six chance of pulling any one of these guys from your boxes. Set 11 had three secret rares, SS4 Broly, the Great Destroyer, Baby Hatch, the Baby Hatchiac, Sand Destroyer, and Vegito, Warrior from Another Dimension. This was the first Unison secret rare to be introduced in the game. This is the best blue secret rare ever introduced in the game. And this is the most awesome Broly looking Broly secret rare introduced in the game. So set 11 had some pretty awesome secret rares and guaranteed two secret rares per case. And the third one would have to come from a different case. Set 12 had three secret rares, Super Pycon, uh, Might Manifested, Majin Buu, Incarnation of Demonic Evil, and Supreme Kai of Time, Space Time Unraveler. Supreme Kai of Time, Space Time Unraveler is the most expensive secret rare from the closest time that a set has ever been from release, and it's likely to do with the boom in collectors in the game. However, a secret rare has not been as valuable short right after release and maintained its value as Supreme Kai of Time has, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with it in the future. So those are our secret rares from main blocks. Now we're gonna go into theme boosters. So of course, any collector knows in this game, the Tournament of Power theme booster one is the most sought after booster box in the game. And there were four signature rares in the set. Universe seven, Sand Prince Vegeta, Beerus Universe seven, Divine Vanquisher, Son Goku, Hope of Universe seven, and Frieza Emperor of Universe seven. 
Now, I don't know the exact ratios on these. I believe it was two per case and there was one SCR per case. And the SCR was the most sought after card in the Dragon Ball Super card game, Sun Goku, the Awakened Power, the secret rare from Theme Booster 1, Tournament of Power. The Theme Booster 2 had Sun Goku and Oob Seeds of the Future as the special rare. And each of the special rares in this set featured tag art that went together. So we have these two, the Goku and Vegeta. We had Pan and Hercule. We had Shu and Piccolo. And we had Jackie Chun and Goku. Now the third theme booster, Secret Rare, was Frieza Army Reborn. And with this set, we saw more normal special rares, but they all had text on the special rares. So we have Body Change Ginyu, Final Showdown Frieza, Tor's Red Armband, Final Strike Bardock, Tenacious Spirit Son Gohan, Final Showdown Son Goku, Piccolo Fused with Nail, and Newfound Power Porunga. So those are all the rarest cards in the Dragon Ball Super card game. There are some other extremely rare cards in terms of promos and other stuff, but we're gonna go into that in a different video. This was purely special rares, secret rares. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If this is your first time here and you enjoyed the video, please take time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe crew, thank you for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. I am a dentist. I can't end the show without doing a dental tooth tip. And I just want to remind you guys when you're flossing, make sure to get down into the gums a little bit. Don't go too far so it hurts, but really massage those corners of the teeth and get stuff out of your gum tissue. Get a good rinse, floss before you brush, and make sure to brush for two minutes. I am Joku DMD, and I will see you guys next time.